Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you guys everything I cook in a week. This was actually recommended by one of you guys, so thank you so much for the video suggestion. Today's Monday, so I'll be showing you everything I cook from Monday through Sunday. Definitely some days I cook more than others, but you'll just have to see. So today we're actually starting off with some oxtail stew. I've never made this before, but my grandma dropped off I want to say like two pounds of oxtail and I've never cooked with oxtail before so this is going to be interesting. So I think this recipe says to like brown the oxtails and then cook in your instant pot but I'm just going to marinate these. So I'm putting some balsamic vinegar. I, I think I have two pounds of bones in here. I'm not actually too sure. Let's just add a little bit more. I did buy tomato paste for this very purpose. I'm not supposed to be doing two tablespoons. I don't know what two tablespoons look like. I'm just gonna do that much. Let's put in a lot, just for funsies. This stock that I'm gonna use is literally just um, water from when I boiled vegetables a couple days ago. And to that, I'm gonna add in some chicken powder just cause it kind of tastes bad. I don't even know what this chicken powder is. I'm just gonna use it. Do a little more than a cup just in case. Ooh, stinky. The trick is to keep this end on so everything stays together as you're chopping. Nice. I want these pieces of garlic to be not too small, but also not too big. I think that this is pretty good. All right, I have everything chopped off. So now we're gonna get started. This has only been marinating for like 20 minutes and it's also like still frozen, but whatever. I'm gonna wait for this to get really hot and then I'm going to saute these on each side just to get it brown. That is some sexy looking stuff. Wow. I'm heavily deviating from the recipe, but I just poured in some stock and I'm just picking up those burnt bits. Um, mine were definitely burnt. They're not supposed to be burnt, I'm pretty sure from all the cooking videos I've watched. But mine are burnt and hopefully that doesn't severely alter the taste of the stew and then i'm going to add in the rest of this stock this recipe said for four pounds of oxtails you need a cup of stock and i only had like two two and a half pounds and i put in about two cups of stock because i said i should cover it slightly which it's not even i'm also going to add in some cinnamon because i think cinnamon tastes really good in savory things some paprika just for funsies I also added in about a, like a heaping teaspoon of salt and if I need to adjust that later, I will. Let's add the carrots and potatoes in slowly or quickly. Here are the potatoes and carrots sitting on top of the liquid just like the instructions say, at high pressure for 40 minutes. I think that's it. See you in an hour because I have to let this natural release for 20 minutes. It's been resting for 20 minutes so let's vent. I'm scared. What if it's ugly? The recipe said to take out the oxtail and half of the carrots and have the potatoes like thicken the, the stew. I don't really know. I'm going to play around. It smells kind of funky. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't love this smell, but let's give it a taste. That was really hot. I don't think my eyes are watering. Um, That is so good. You know what? The cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it. Um, really takes it to another level. Like, I think cinnamon belongs in every soup. That's delicious. So here's the issue. I don't have like an immersion blender or anything. So I'm just trying to thicken it by reducing it as well as like pressing down with this ladle to try and smush the potatoes and the carrots. But I don't think it's going too well. I probably should not have touched it because it looks kind of lumpy and gross now, but I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. So let me just try a little bit. Okay, let's try a piece of meat. Super like fall off the bone. Should have salted the meat. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. For breakfast, I'll be having a little sandwich that I made in the air fryer. You know what would make this better? Hot sauce.
Today we're also cooking some salmon that I marinated like literally a week ago and I'm worried that it's not good anymore. It's just been sitting in my fridge in a Korean barbecue sauce marinade. I'm still going through the oxtail stew leftovers, but this thing, it needs to be cooked or else it's gonna go bad in my fridge. We're gonna cook it and keep it for leftovers. Maybe we'll do a little Emily Mariko salmon rice bowl, but this needs to be cooked. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, um, kind of a fail. Ow, it's like hurting me. The sauce charred, so I'm trying to steam it to cook the inside so that the bottom doesn't like fully burn. Here's the final result. I know it looks burnt, but <laughs> I don't think it actually is. It tastes good, it looks terrible. And it made a huge mess, splattered oil everywhere. Five out of 10. <laughs> Hello. It's 6 30 so i'm gonna make some dinner i know this is not really cooking because i'm not turning on my stove because frankly i do not feel like it but i gotta eat something so strawberries bacon bits and some feta cheese yum yum some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar and that's the fastest dinner ever are we surprised that the salad was not enough? So I actually want to eat a little bit more, but I'm not that hungry, just a little bit hungry. So I want some buttered noodles, but I'm gonna make them the college dorm way, aka in the microwave. It's kind of revolting that I did this and still do this because <laughs> I'm too lazy to boil water. Place into the microwave. Whoa, there it goes, overflowing again. Next, we take some butter. I'm gonna do that much. That's actually kind of a lot. Whoops, okay. And add salt to your heart's desire. It smells obviously delicious. Let's give it a taste. Hits the spot every time, literally. Why don't I eat this every day? Yum. Yeah, this Hello, it's Saturday night and I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I'm actually gonna meal prep some food for my sister because I'm leaving for the weekend. And my dad had a bunch of leftover Popeyes and I thought, why not just make some chicken fried rice? I have some frozen green peas, some corn, and some frozen scallions, as well as soy sauce and fish sauce. This is my favorite soy sauce. It's a little sweeter, it's a seafood soy sauce, and fish sauce. All right, here's everything. I also forgot, I'm gonna add in two eggs. This is all like the breading that I didn't really feel like adding in here. And the pan is ready when water shows up like beads. I like to add the liquid here because it cooks down a little. So, soy sauce and fish sauce, not too much. And we mix it all up. I've added in the chicken, and now it's time to add in the rice. Best is leftover rice. Mix everything in. I'm gonna add more soy sauce. And then when everything is mixed in, I push everything to one side and cook the eggs. Oh, also make sure to add some oil before you cook the egg, or else it will stick to the pan. Just cook it up like this, <laughs> just scramble them like, just like this. And now let's just combine everything. And you can, of course, add any vegetables you want in here. You can add literally whatever you want to fried rice, like it doesn't matter. It's to me like a kitchen sink fried rice. <laughs> and the last step is to crisp up the bottom. So I'm just having it sitting here on a pretty low, small fire just to crisp up the bottom a little to give it some texture. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it, do it. It's really good. Here it is before I package it away. And let me show you the crispy bits, I mean. So do you see right here? That's a crispy bit from the bottom. And if you eat it, as it's hot, it's crunchy and it gives such a delicious texture. But even though these are all going into the fridge slash freezer, this will still like give just this like rich umami flavor that is so good. So I definitely recommend crisping the bottom of your fried rice. Anyways, I have two pints, whatever half a pint is, and whatever size this is, and it's gonna go in the fridge slash freezer.
And on that note, that actually wraps up this video. Tomorrow's Sunday and I don't cook on Sundays because my church provides food for me and I'm going to home to my parents and my parents are going to cook for me tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching till the end. And if you want more content, more of me cooking, more of my daily life, I'm vlogging every single day for a year. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next video.